Hi guys, good to have you all back and welcome to this very, very warm Friday here in the Netherlands. It is above 30 degrees Celsius uh, and that means it's a hot, hot day. Fortunately, I am in a room where there is an air conditioning. However, the air conditioning is old and loud. Um, I have tried filming this without the air conditioning, but I cannot function. I just cannot function. So you might hear a little bit of background noise. That's the air conditioning. And also the neighbor is still drilling. So it is what it is today, guys. But I do have a lovely project for us in mind. Let me tell you all about it. Mini tags. I want to make mini tags uh, with you guys that you can use in your junk journal. Put them in a small pocket, uh, use them as a tab, small embellishment. You can put them on envelopes. Also, it's just a lovely little project to make. Now, I am going to make them myself, but you might have some that you could recycle. I have some pre-made uh, tags. The smaller ones, this one and this one. I have some vintage price tags. Or some just newer price tags or just some labels that came with, you know, clothing or another article. This was actually from a rope. The rope was pink. Yeah. So if you have some packaging material, use this. You could also make it from existing a little bit bigger packaging material. Because, you know, that is a lovely paper to use. And why not? That's a fantastic background. Uh, to do a lovely grungy uh, small tag with. However, I am going to make them from scratch. <laughs> I'm going to make them from craft colored cardstock. You don't need craft colored cardstock just as long as it's a little bit heavier. Maybe you have some ivory or black or whatever color you want, lovies. Now, other than the paper, I have a couple of tools on my desk that I am going to use. You don't need them. You need scissors. That's basically what you need guys but let me show you the tools that i'm using i'm going to give you some alternatives as well and for decorating i have loads uh, for the tools i have this punch from fasa creative it makes tap uh, tag shapes on the top in three different sizes the smallest one is one and a half inch then you have two inch, inch and two and a half inch it just makes the the tops guys uh, I'm going to use the smallest one. Uh, it's a lovely little device. I'm happy I have it, but it's not necessary at all. You might have uh, a die that's in a tab, uh, a tag shape. I keep saying tab, a tag shape. Yeah, you might have a die. So use this. Uh, we don't all need all this fancy stuff. No, make um, a tag shape like uh, this, this shape. Yeah, just snip something off. You could do this or... You could just round corners, use this, or just make them into a rectangle. You really don't need it. Let's say you have one of those and you really like the shape, just, you know, trace it and then you can cut it out. So for making um, tags, you could do a lot. For decorating, now, uh, mine are going to be one and a half inch by probably three inch. I don't know about the length, but probably three inches. It's a smaller surface, but I do want to add a lot. I want to do some uh, stamping. I might even do some napkin decoupage, probably. So a little bit of a collage, uh, put a focal point on, just a small collage on, uh, on a small tag. This one makes the holes in them. A little bit reinforced even. It just makes, I don't know, something. So probably uh, put an eyelet in or a brad in or something like it. So um, take out your scraps because I'm going to use a lot of scraps. Take out your scraps and small images. The small images can be in a rub-on, in just a fuzzy cut, in a sticker form, in just a poster stamp or something small. Now, if you're not into small magnify make yours bigger why not i just want to make some small ones yep so uh, the tools that are essential paper scissors and some paper scraps to uh, to play around with i have my small boxes yeah so i'm just gonna use small bits and bobs and stuff gonna do some stamping some romans but i don't know which ones yet okay guys let's start with making the small tags Mine are going to be a one and a half inch because that's the smallest size on this one and probably three. So first I'm going to cut strip that are one and a half inches. There you go. Would be nice, nice if this were straight. What's this? 
stuff that's already in here. Go away. Go away, stuff. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be small, right? Yes, they're going to be small. That was the whole purpose. Small ones. You could do the two inch. No, you're going to do the one and a half inch. <laughs> Making small collages, guys. It might sound um, simple. There's a lot of paper on here. Uh, but it actually isn't. It actually isn't. Because you don't have a lot of room to play with. So I'm sort of challenging myself. But I do like the, the um, results they give. Because they're just cute. And you can use them in all sorts of projects. One more. One more. I don't think I have the time to decorate all of them. But that's, that's quite alright. That's going to be fine. Okay. Do, are they all the same size? Well, hopefully, because, you know. Um, align them. Yes. Three sizes. One and a half, two, and two and a half. So, um, use the one and a half one, of course. All the way to the end, love. Yes. There you go. See? Makes this shape. Very simple. Very easy. So, I'm going to do all of them. And then I'm going to cut them probably at three inches. Let's see what three inches look like. Hmm, three and a half? No, three. Three, love. Three and a quarter. <laughs> Compromising. Compromising. Three and a quarter. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a nice shape. Yeah. Three and a quarter. So I'm going to cut a lot of them, guys. But make them your own size. No worries. I'm going to make a lot. And then let's start decorating. I made 14. I don't think I can decorate all of them, guys. But I'm going to try. Now, they look like this. Uh, eventually, I would like to have sort of uh, rounded corners on the bottom. Ink all around them, of course. And probably put either a, a hole reinforcer or an eyelet in. But this I'm going to do at the very end. Yeah? I'm going to do the inking uh, last. And the rounding of corners last. And the hole reinforcer or eyelet um this part will be a, a little bit diff difficult to collage put paper on because that would mean it needs a lot of cutting you could do this but i am not going to i'm going to concentrate sort of on the lower part um which means i'm going to leave the top half or the top part without any uh, paper on it probably at an angle just gonna rip a piece what have you so i want to create a little bit of a background say on the top maybe a smaller bit on the bottom you could do this as well so i want first i want to go some do some stamping i have taken out these three these are from sample the sample ones snippets of nature botanical frames and journal notes and i'm just going to put some parts um, of it on it will be strictly sort of background-ish. You could do take out a splatter stamp or whatever you want, love. Whatever you want. Of course, I'm using fallen leaves because that's my absolute favorite. Um, let's say uh, uh, this. Yeah, just a little part here. I'm probably going to cover this bit up. I'm going to maybe even sort of flip it around and do this see just something inter interesting um, on the back and in the background not on the back in the background there's a text strip text bit whatever that'll work there you go might do a little bit of this maybe i want some script over there and um, I'm going to go this. Oh, I'm going to go this. This is so not me. Oh, it does look lovely. Yeah. Maybe one more. One more. The other way around. Yep. Do we have more? Of course we have more, love. We have lots more. Oh, the one with the sort of dragonfly wing. See? That's what I'm talking about. Just something interesting. Well, that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't really good, was it now? No, I'm going to do that again. One more time with feeling. Yeah. 
something with a piece of her wing. Yeah, see? Cool. Do you need all 14? <laughs> I don't know. Do we need all 14, guys? Sure. Um, I think I want this piece here and then this piece of butterfly. This is one big stamp. I'm not even going to take out a stamp tool or anything. I'm just going to do this and then this. See? Just interesting. Numbers and writing. There you go. There's something with numbers here. Or not even. There we go. Piece of the butterfly. Yeah. Do we want another piece? Last one. More butterfly. Cool. Okay. Background stamping. Background stamping done. Ooh, already inky fingers. Guys, I want to add another sort of background layer. Now, this is something that I have never done before, but I, I am eager to try it. Now, um, you might have heard of a napkin de decoupage. I am not going to explain how this really, really works. Uh, I will... I will probably put a link uh, in the description box where I show you how napkin decoupage work. Well, the thing is, you need to take out a napkin. Yes, and the napkin consists of layers. Now, what I do, I take all the layer off so that you're left with the top layer with a lovely image on them. But sometimes I also keep some of the layers underneath, like this or this. Now, I use them to dry my brushes or to clean something up or what have you. But you could use it, especially this color came from this napkin. I actually want to make some sort of a transparent extra layer on it. Uh, and I especially love sort of the, the, the ruffled or torn or ripped edges. They are a little bit fuzzy. Yes, because of the, oh, the paper. Stuff. I don't know. Let's just try it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the first or the second layer of the napkin that we normally don't use. I don't want to have it on there straight. So I'm gonna glue at sort of an angle. Just gonna put something on. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, glue it on, and then sort of try to rip it. Oh yeah. See? Oh, that's that is interesting. Oh, I like it. Like it. Let's do another one. This one I also did some stamping here on the bottom, so let's see if I can I'm just gonna rip a piece off and then glue it on. Don't glue it on your hands, love. No. Like so. Oh yeah, wrinkle it. Why not wrinkle it a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. I like it. Are you going to do all of them? I think so. Yeah, guys. I'm going to do all of them. Just put a piece of glue on, then a layer of tissue, and uh, rip it. Rip it. I think they turned out pretty cool. I like it. Never done this. Um, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Now, guys, what did I do? I went through all my small boxes, and I took out uh, small pieces that I thought were just interesting. See, a little piece of a number, or I don't even know what this is. This is from an envelope. Just some small pieces that I might uh, want to use. Now, um, I'm going to pick out a focal point later. Normally, I'd pick a focal point and then start adding stuff. I'm going to do it from the ground up, yeah? Also have some washi tapes. These are all neutral colors, all small ones with some scripty bits on them and, you know, just some very neutral background. So I think I'm going to use some of those as well. So let's just do some small, see, little bit of uh, decorating. I'm just going to glue this on. 
do we have a group and let's use this as a group page there you go this is a piece of um pattern paper pattern paper yeah hello glue how are you doing are you empty oh, i hope not otherwise i have to go downstairs again You're going to flip it over? I am. I'm just going to flip this over. Yep. Lots of number on here already. Um, why not do a little bit of this tape? Something like this. Yes, I might add another layer. This is a ticket. I do love this part. Shall we just rip this up? Oh yeah, it's just interesting. I need something behind here. This has some writing. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Now I'm using neutrals guys as a as a background, but by all means do something colorful. I'm just layering. And you could also ink the individual pieces. That does look cool. Yes, next one. I want to use this somewhere, I think. But then with ooh, look at the big two. Ooh, that is cool. Big two, right? I had some of this um, brown glassine paper. Yes. There we go. Do we need some tape? It's also sort of script. Just a piece. I don't mind this sticking out. I think that's cool. What else? This does have a little bit of color. Do we want to add a bit of color? Also, we have it in pencil. Yes. Just going to put it smack in the middle and then this over here. how quick this goes i also have parts of labels but i think i want to use these once i know what sort of focal point i'm going to put on we oh yeah, had this piece that's real pretty right uh, do we want to add another layer of this then yeah Layer one, layer two. Also have this darker brown tape. It's like a film strip. Oh, already cool, already cool. Great. Guys, what I'm going to do, I am going to do, uh, because I have 14, I want to finish all 14 of them. So I'm going to make more of these uh, backgrounds with my small little bits and bobs. And then we're going to pick out a focal point. 
I did all of them, guys. Just some small paper bits here and there. I really like them. Very, very neutral. Now, I am going to add a bit of color um, by means of a focal point. I'm thinking butterflies and I'm thinking robins because I have, I have a couple of these still left from a 49er market. These robin butterflies, I think they look pretty, right? Yeah, they are not bright colors. They're sort of fall colors, but you know, I could do with some fall right now, guys. Yeah, I might switch them out with some uh, mushrooms. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to do some butterflies. Yeah. Just some cute ones. And also probably add uh, a label or a post-it stamp here and there. Let's just do one. Let's see what it will look like. There you go. Taking out one. See? Over here. Let's see if we could fit it on. Yes! I think this will look cute. Yeah? Okay. I'm just going to do it. Guys, I'm just going to do it. Also, there's another butterfly on here. So, that works. Does it fit? Hoping it does. I cannot see. <laughs> the studio lights are shining on them. They're very, very shiny. Hope, hoping you don't have any trouble seeing, guys. Yes. Oh, there's a hole behind here. That won't work. Well, let's just see. So I'm going to put on a focal point and, um, and then look at what color I've used and add a little bit more color. Do we want to add toppers? I was thinking, do we want to add a topper to this? I have no clue. This, by the way, guys, just using a pencil is now my favorite um, tool to do rub-ons. I much prefer this to all the sort of plastic sticks that come with the... Oh yeah, that this is antique paper. It does not want to stick on antique paper. Come on, you can do it. Will it stick on the tissue paper? That's the question. Was this a good idea? Not really. Not really. It'll work though. Yes, it'll work. There you go. It's really cute, but it's not in your face out there. So this needs a little bit more decorating. Yes, I'm going to do another one. And that's a little bit brighter, like a uh, green one, this green one. I'm not going to do all of them on, on camera, guys. No, that'll be very, very boring. Watching me put robins on. Let's just see. It's not going to fit on here completely, but that's okay. Probably going to flip it over. Um, do we have a blue page thing? Yeah. Let's see how this will work. They're too big, but that's okay. It doesn't need to fit on here completely. There you go. With some green now i'll probably add a, a lovely small green label somewhere and uh, if i'm gonna do toppers i think this is the best way to go yeah lovely we the weather is so weird guys honestly we had a very sort of wet, cool summer. And uh, then everybody thought, well, you know, fall is starting. And then, and then, a heat wave. All, all of the sudden, a heat wave. Hopefully it will only last a couple of days. I think it will. Not working on this paper. I 
I don't do well uh, in warm weather, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is lovely. That is lovely. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a couple more of them. Um, and maybe also add some mushrooms. Because I have them. I think they'll look wonderful. My focal points are on. Love them. Uh, butterflies, mushrooms, and also lovely sort of fall colors. Um, yes, I want to add a label here and there, or a poster stamp, or part of a poster stamp, but also the whole reinforces. I'm going to do that first. Normally, I don't do this first, but let's just say I'm going to do it. Well, that's a little bit much love. I'm going to do that first. I have some of these. Uh, yes, I'm going to get questions about these. These are from a die cut set from Elizabeth Craft Designs, guys. Uh, reinforcement pack one and two look cool right yes on a brownish one oh yeah that looks great looks great um let's see if art wants to come and play today here we go just lovely what was the one this one this one now still guys i keep forgetting that um the rubbons don't like to be glued on antique paper and especially not on, on tissue paper. No, the, it doesn't really work well. <laughs> Let's just keep it at this. It didn't really work well. So I had a hard time of um, putting them on. So this one here. Yeah. But it worked. It worked. Other than that, I love 49er Market rubbons. Did you hear the news already? Um, I saw the video yesterday by, yesterday by Katie Pertit. I think her name is Pertit. I don't know for sure, but probably Pertit. She's the designer of all of this and she works for 49 and Market. Do we want this? Oh, yes, yes, we do. Um, she had some exciting news. They're going to be working together with Sizzix, which means 49 and Market will have... Uh, or Sizzix will have designs by 49er Market, stamp sets and embossing folders and die cut sets and such. I don't know. I don't. I don't work for these companies, guys. No, so I don't know everything about it. But I'm looking forward to having um, stamp sets and die cut sets from 49er Market. That'd be lovely. Not an odd. To take out uh, an odd one. You have lovely odd ones. Do an odd one. This one. With green. Yeah? Yes. Uh, in, in uh, next spring, guys. Next spring. That's all that I know. But I cannot wait. I cannot wait. There we go. And I don't know how that will work. Either. Because, uh, well, Tim Holtz also works with Sizzix and such. So it's going to be something similar. But under what brand? I, I have no clue. Don't know how that works, guys. I do know how this works. This works. Lovely. You could also add, add uh, brads to it. Uh, let's do this color. Yes, yes. Now, because I made these from Craft Colored Cardstock, you could write a little note on the back, have them as a gift tag, tags or, you know, put a little note on if you want to. Some, well, I don't have, I do have blue, but it's the other side. No, well, that's okay. Just use the other side. Why not? Oh, that looks much better. <laughs> now I'm going to do this side. This was made from double-sided paper from um, Studio Light, the cardstock. Love that. I don't have any blues in here, do I? No. And the grays or or the tan color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Do we want something red? Red-ish. That's not red, but it is cute. It's cute though. Uh, do I have a pin? Because one of the holes is not coming out. Yeah. So hole reinforcers. Are we doing toppers? I do not know. 
Do not know. Yeah. Okay. Couple left. Gonna do a couple of them. These ones. Um, and then I'm taking out my small labels and poster stamps. And let's see if we can add a little bit more color to these. All my whole reinforcers are on. So I've taken out my boxes with these are very, very tiny labels. Um, it's just a normal sheet of labels that I printed two to a page or sometimes even four to a page. So some labels. And then I have a box of, well, a small box of poster stamps. And I'll probably use uh, parts of it. Yeah, just like a, a small part to add a bit of color. But first, let's do some labels. I'm just going to take them out one by one. Let's just see. What do we want? We have a lovely number here. I put it here. See, it's just small, tiny, little something. A small something. You don't really need art glitter glue for this, lovies, but it's what is has at hand. And I'm just, yeah. I don't want to take out a glue page anymore. There you go. Okay, next one. Something blue, obviously, because there's blue on here. I have this sort of off the page. Maybe that's a bit too blue. Oh, I only have one color blue. First one was the best, obviously, it always is. <laughs> there you go. Same if you're gonna do like shopping, yeah? You're looking for a pair of shoes. The first pair of shoes you find, you're like, yeah, well, you know, but I'm shopping all day and uh, I might find a better pair. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, next one. And this one, we do something reddish. Oh yeah. I haven't used these labels for a while. They are lovely. There we go. The labels guys are from Tracy Fox. She is Love Junk Journals on um, Etsy. Unfortunately, I don't ha I don't have links because I have way too many of them. Oh, that is look at that. Yes, the color is perfect. Yep. How about this one? Just a brownish one. There's already a number here, love. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's do this one. Yep. I don't think I have any green. I do have some of these green stickers, but there's something brownish here so maybe oh yeah it says six there are so many numbers on here already number here number here number here underneath here and then also a number six just here just here do you want this oh they are too big they are actually too big I have more smaller ones. I would love to add a little bit more green. Let's just take out a stamp. Yeah. I'm just going to use part of it, guys, and the rest I'm just going to fold over. Goodbye, Carlos. His name is Carlos, right? King of Spain, Carlos. Juan Carlos? I don't know. There we go. I am looking for one more green element. <laughs> it needs one green. I'm going to think about it. Think about it. Okay, this one. Shall we do something with a with another stamp? I have loads, so well, why not? Of 
part here. No, it's too lovely to cut up anyway. Let's just see. Lovely one by Juliana. Completely different color. Shall we just put this here? We shall. Yep. Do we want to add I don't know. Don't know. It does need something, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna add this here. Ooh, look at art. Runny nose. Too warm, too warm for art. Oh yes, much better, much better. This one, there's a lot of blank space here. I found this in one of the boxes and I was thinking, yes, we're thinking right. Putting on, hopefully, glue everywhere. There we go. Oh yeah, so cool. So cool. Maybe maybe a label. Yes, also a label. There we go. Cool. Love this one. Almost done. I added a couple of small pieces here and there. I'm going to show you like this over here. Yes, just a small bit. So, you know. And uh, what else? Put a label on here. And uh, I wanted uh, another green element, so I put something here. I'm going to round corners just on the on the bottom end, guys. Not necessary. All. I think it'll look lovely. Let's just, you know, have a look. Well, or you do it right. <laughs> Not even gonna bother over here because something's sticking out. I do like this. I don't think the rounding of corners adds anything, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, what I am going to do is ink them. Now I've chosen a dark color like um, ground espresso. That also adds a lot. Whatever is sticking out is sticking out. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Yeah, see, like so. Okay. And, and, pièce de résistance. I'm going to do some splattering. Splatter stamp. I'm using my, uh, well, my favorite one. I have a new one from Mr. Tim Holtz. But um, I think I'm just going to use this one. Yes, yes. Also, a little bit on the hole reinforcers. That is just perfect. Let's do another one. Just some inking all around. I would have preferred to stamp the whole reinforcers first. Put something interesting on. Uh, but because they're already on, I'm not going to do, do it anymore. But, but I could do this. See? Now there is something on. Yeah. Cool. Another one? Sure. So no rounding of corners. Now you could uh, put a string of something in here, but because I probably use these uh, in another project on, a, on another collage or make a cluster with them, I'm not going to put a string through, but you could, if you're going to use them as whole reinforcers, just, you know, a whole reinforcer, as tags, uh, put a lovely sort of woolly or string or or a whatever. I do love this. This is something I've never tried before. Let's see it somewhere. Don't know where, of course. I, I keep forgetting what I see where. Yeah. A little bit here. Yeah. Great. They're going to look great. Oh, like autumn -y type of text. Guys, I'm going to do all of them. And then uh, let's look at the end result. Finish them. Let's see if we can find some favorites. Uh, well, I have this one. Yes. 
so yeah, I did some splattering um, here and there. Really like them, really like them. They are a little bit bent because of all the glue, but I'm gonna flatten them out. And then this one, see what I did here? I had the sort of a frame, a poster stamp type of frame. I don't know where I got that one from. Maybe even Misty Molds. I don't know. Um, there's another one that has the other part of it. It just looks cool. I think it looks cool. I really like the technique with the um, um, tissue paper. Isn't that great? Don't throw away your tissue paper, guys. No. Just you know, use it in this way. And then this one with all the lovely numbers. Put another piece of washi here. Yeah. Cool. And then this one. I really like this one. Just had have a sort of a well not even have a part of a paper doily left i i keep i keep these sort of bits guys like because you never know when you can use them in my small little boxes yep and then this this came from a ticket i have a ticket isle of men road service and this says date and sunday oh probably sunday yeah looks cool right I think so. And then this one with the mushroom. Love the splatters on this one. Here's the other part of the sort of stamp frame. I don't even know what it's called. I think I have I have this die set. But it could be have been in Happy Mail or I, I cannot remember. Love it. And then this one. Actually, there's a recipe in uh, in the back here. For chicken curry, kip curry. <laughs> if you're Dutchy, you're hungry. You're hungry now. It's the exact same color as the whole reinforcer. Love this. Um, a piece of post stamp here and a piece of post stamp there. Yep. And then this one. Love all the parts that are sticking out. Just really cool. The big two on here. I added a number, another number here. Also came from. This ticket. See, just use parts of tickets, guys. And then this one didn't add a lot because there's uh, such a big image on here. Just this label here. It was enough. And then this one, with the big label. Nice and grungy. Love the dark colors. And we have this one. Yep, number here, number here, number here. And we love numbers. And then this one I added... A little piece of post stamp there. Because there was room. And I just loved it. I am leaving this as is, guys. Yeah. Because it has a, adds a little bit of texture. So, yeah. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I love making these. It's like making labels. But not a label. I think they're cute. I think they're cute. And you can use them for anything. And also, I did this in sort of a fall theme, guys. With fall colors and the butterflies and mushrooms. But, you know, make them bright with whatever you want. Whatever you want. Uh, it's Friday, which means um, the weekend is here. I have another bonus video for you guys this weekend. Yes, this Sunday I have a short video for you guys with a very unexpected very lovely happy mail from a friend of mine and i found an amazing treasure um that i want to share with you guys i cannot wait because i really want to have this treasure on my desk at all time showing you okay guys that's it enjoy your weekend and hopefully i'll see you this sunday um at my regular hour and otherwise this monday with another crafty video until then Bye, guys.